Let's talk about dairy. More specifically, lactose intolerance. Is it real, or is there a lie hidden in there? Let's take a look. First, what is it? It's defined as the inability to digest lactose, the sugar in milk and dairy products. Lactose is normally broken down by an enzyme called lactase, which is produced by cells in the lining of the small intestine. In the infant stages of life for mammals, this is very important because infants need to break down the lactose contained in breast milk. Now, let's break down a few words a little further to understand the myths and realities behind this condition. The word intolerance when it comes to nutrition means an inability to eat a food without having any adverse effects. This implies a few things. First, it implies that the food in question is something you should be eating. Second, it implies that the inability to digest it without side effects is a deficiency on your part. Think about it. We don't really recognize a condition called gasoline intolerance. Because we know the inability to digest it is not because we are deficient, it's because we aren't made to take that stuff in. A car runs on gasoline. We don't. But what about what we said a few moments ago? Infant mammals are supposed to drink their mother's milk, right? That's right. We are born with the ability to produce lactase, but our bodies typically stop making it by about age 5, and in the case of African Americans that could be as early as age 2. That is the time when we are weaning and no longer need that function. But some people can eat and drink dairy well into adulthood with no problem, so why is that? That is called lactase persistence. It's one of the most notable examples of genetic adaptation, promoting the expression of LCT, the gene encoding the enzyme lactase. So those who continue to produce it are able to do so through genetic changes resulting from cultural or environmental conditions over the past several thousand years. So, what's the takeaway? Lactose intolerance is a myth. It's a false description of what millions of people experience when their bodies do exactly what it's supposed to do. And that is to stop producing the mechanism required to nurse from a lactating mother. It's lactase persistence that's the anomaly. But because dairy has been made such a staple of today's diet, and so much money is spent to get us to drink and eat more of it, and it's such a major part of the agricultural plan of the country, those who don't have the genetic mutation to accept it into adulthood are considered to be abnormal. Thus, products, pills, and supplements are made available to fix the quote-unquote intolerance problem. So we can enjoy a big ice cream cone with everyone else without having to stay close to the bathroom. In summary, there really is no such thing as lactose intolerance. There are those whose bodies adjust to no longer being able to properly digest milk and those that persist with the ability to digest it. It doesn't mean those that persist are bad, and it certainly doesn't mean those that don't are malfunctioning. It simply means that the sales goals of the dairy industry and the appeal of a cheese pizza don't override human physiology and design. Like this video and subscribe for more practical and relatable information to help you take control of your health and well-being.